Welcome to White Oak Estate and Gardens. We are here with guest host Sharon Lecoq, our wonderful producer cameraman's mother. <laughs> and of course, everybody knows Chef John Fols. You know, hunting season is wrapping up. We've gone through the conservation hunts. Geese, tons of people love shooting them, but we need different ways to cook them. <laughs> it's one of those, uh, it's definitely one of those uh, game birds that people uh, that love to hunt. Now, uh, you get the phone calls, hey, uh, would you like some geese? You want some geese? Want I some got geese? 200 I got plenty of them. geese. <laughs> I got plenty of geese. No, 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 I got a freezer full of geese. Anyway, so what we're going to do today, of course, we're using the breast. Obviously, immediately, oh, that's gamey, that's mm -hmm. really gamey. Well, you know what, we're going to take care of that because it's really not that gamey, and we're going to make it much less in a minute here. It's the ribeye of the sky. Yeah, ribeye in the sky, that's exactly right. So, we have our black iron skillet. We're going to put a little oil in it right there. And while you hold that, uh, if you pick that up right here, I'm going to season it. Right? And I'm going to just go ahead and put some uh, salt. No, that's not too much. It's not too much. Uh, uh, pepper, of course. You want to season food. It doesn't come seasoned. I tell people all the time. You and it is an accurate nickname because, rib, uh, you know, when you've eaten speckle belly, anybody that has knows that it's superior and it just tastes, yeah. it tastes like red meat. It tastes like beef almost. Now I'm going to add a little bit. If you take that breast and just dust it in there for me, just that, that's good and give it right back to me. Now, Sharon, um, you've cooked speckle belly at your holidays this year, correct? Yes. In fact, Christopher did for us. Wonderful. Chris made a wonderful appetizer for us. Yeah, and how do you, what, 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 what did he do? Just, uh, just sliced the uh, breast and sauteed it? Or? Yeah, and put it on a little crostini and we put it in the oven with some other. Yeah. I think cheese was involved. Yeah. <laughs> you can't always, go wrong with cheese. Oh, oh yeah, always. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let that kind of uh, brown up, dust it a little bit, salt, pepper, granulated garlic. And now I'm just going to, I, I have to get that caramelization on the outside. But you see how hot my skillet is? I'm not playing around. I'm not putting it in a cold skillet. Right. So why don't you turn those over? We just put them in, and you'll see, look how brown they are. How long they been in? Maybe a minute? Uh, 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 we're going to let that just kind of uh, sit in there for a minute. I'm going to add the vegetables. Okay, so, so we got uh, typical vegetables again, just kind of throw them all down in there. Garlic, pepper, celery. Yeah, just kind of putting them all down in there. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit stock. I have a little game stock here. Direct from White Oak. See Stadium. that right off of my orange trees out there. Y'all, I'm going to put the lid on the top of that. It's going to go into that 350 degree oven. It's going to tenderize. The citrus is going to just thicken in the pot. Uh, lock the flip? screen door. Lock the screen door, <laughs> y'all. Welcome back. We're with Chef John Foles and Sharon Lecoq, our cameraman, producer's wonderful mother. We're finishing up our goose breast, orange goose breast. Oh, uh, look at that. We we have the orange marmalade in there. Now you just go ahead and put the uh, that, mar that that's the marmalade right there. Dump it right on in the in the pan there. We have our orange juice. So of course, and you've heard all of your life that game really loves citrus, right? And that's why we put so much citrus in here. And we're just gonna put a 350 degree oven. That'd be the best one. Leave it in there about an hour and a half. I, I'm gonna tell you, that's a really great, great dish. And if you uh, like speckle belly, you're gonna love this dish. And if you like other geese, or maybe you don't, try it. Yeah, You'll try probably it. learn to like you it know, more. No, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> 